Hi there, my name is Dan and I'm an MSP consultant at ProValTech. Today I want to go over how to access external files using agent procedures. Let's get into it. As we discussed in my previous video, proper use of agent procedures in Kaseya is very important when automating your environment. You won't always be able to accomplish every task just by using the internal scripting engine though. Sometimes we'll need to access external files, such as installer binaries, log files, and even PowerShell scripts. We're gonna go over a quick zoom install procedure, which will show us exactly how to accomplish this task. First, the Kaseya server needs access to the file in question, which is our zoom installer file. The way that procedures are able to access external files is by placing the file into the managed files module. Simply upload the file and it will be available to use. First, go to the agent procedure module. Click on manage files at the top of the screen. In most cases, we want to upload to shared files, so click that option. Simply upload the file and it will be available to use. You will click the upload button listed there and then you'll just select the file like you would any upload. Afterwards, you'll find the file in whatever folder you placed it in. In my case, I put it in the Zoom folder so we can see it's there and ready for use in our procedure. All right, so the file's uploaded, ready to be accessed. Let's create an agent procedure like we did in the previous video. I've got one ready for us now. It's an empty procedure called Zoom install in my private folder. So in this agent procedure, the first line that we need to put in is something called write file. This will take the file from the managed files and write it directly to the client. If we start typing write file, we can see a list pop up that we can select the appropriate script in. Once the line appears, you'll see that we have several parameters that we need to select. The, I like to use the right hand side here to do that instead of typing it directly in because I'm a little more prone to error that way. So let's select the file that we just uploaded by going to shared and then again, zoom. There it is. And there's our MSI. There we go. So when you select that file, you'll notice that the target file that we're grabbing fills in just exactly where you pointed it. You'll also notice that the there's a default directory where we're going to be placing that file on the target computer listed here. I do like to use the default directory, but you can feel free to put something like C slash system or anything that you prefer to use here. You can see here that the file name is complete and this line is ready to go. So right now, all we've done is write a file from the shared to the target machine. We've got to work with that file now, and I'm going to use an execute shell prompt to do so since we're installing an MSI. Again, we start typing it here, shell command. And again, we have procedure properties on the right that we can easily edit. So for this one, I'm going to use an MSI exec command to silently install the Zoom installer so that we don't disturb our endpoint. We paste that in there and there we go. You can see that I've, I've pre-created this path to use the directory that we installed that file into above and with some switches here again to silently install. So at this point, the script will now write the file from our shared files to the target computer and execute a shell command to run that MSI from the directory that we saved it to. We do want to make sure that the directory here and the directory here match, of course. So that's about all the time that I have today. In our next video, we're going to finish this script up. We're going to do some best practice discussion when we do so, like uh, commenting your code, documentation, and error checking. We want to check to make sure that this shell command actually executed correctly because we don't know if Zoom is installed until we look. So for now, that is all, but we'll definitely come back to this in our next video. Thanks for watching. We post a new video every week to share our knowledge on Kaseya. To learn more about what we do, visit ProValTech.com. There's a link in the video description below.